My name is Shane Beyer. I'm a rising senior at Duke University, studying biomedical engineering and pre-med, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. So the internship I've been doing is for an NGO in Bali, Indonesia, called Puspati Bali, uh, which focuses on providing prosthetics, orthotics, and uh, wheelchairs for people in need there. Um, there's a large population of people in Bali that are disabled and don't have access to good healthcare or affordable healthcare. So they basically bring people in, fit them for whatever they need, and then train them to use it so they can get to school, get to work. Um, so I basically help them design new prosthetics and uh, help them move to online funding because COVID canceled most of their in-person fundraisers. So they really needed to shift to a GoFundMe type uh, system. So my process is basically um, trying to improve what they had already been doing. So they created prosthetics in a very old fashioned way where they would make a clay mold of the knee socket or whatever body part needed to be replaced. And then they would put it in the oven, fine tune it, uh, heat it, cool it. And it, the whole process takes about two weeks, um, very expensive. and if you mess up in, at any point, you have to go all the way back and it's very time intensive and um, it's not very efficient. So my goal was to shift them to 3D printing, um, which is kind of like the revolutionizing uh, or one of the most revolutionary things happening in the medical industry. So I figured out what materials they were using, their budget, um, what their technology expertise was. And then I found this free uh, software for specifically for free for NGOs uh, called Fusion 360 and I figured out basically how 3D printing works how you have to design um, any parts or just kind of do aesthetic design in that software uh, basically watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials they had everything I needed and um, basically designed it part by part um, and I modeled it off of other companies that have made 3D printed prosthetics for years and just kind of put my own little twist on it. Um, but the thing about that software that's really cool too is once you build it, it's not just for looks, you can do full on testing where you can put a weight load on it and it shows you where the weak points are, what the problems with it are, if, if it will break when someone actually walks in it. Um, and you can kind of just simulate someone walking in it without even being in the office or giving it to anyone. So it's, I just think it's a way better way to do it. And uh, my biggest challenge of that project was actually um, trying to uh, get people to understand that, uh, that this is feasible because it sounds very futuristic and to a company that's very old fashioned and has been doing the same method for 30 years, it seems like such a big jump, but I uh, had to use some kind of negotiating and business skills too to put together something that wasn't all technical and just scary numbers and science. And I had to show them that this is, is something that is not as hard as it looks and it's it would save them a ton of money and time over the years and just kind of make it more friendly seeming. I would say just the cause the NGO was for made it pretty meaningful to me. Um, I got to see, they showed me footage of them actually uh, fitting a bunch of children with these prosthetics and just seeing kind of the immediate mood change is pretty heartwarming. And then just being able to like directly contribute to them helping more people and staying afloat um, is kind of what motivated me to work every day. And my favorite part specifically was probably learning how to design their actual devices um, because it was something that I'm interested in. I, I love engineering and it was my first time modeling anything in 3D and I learned it myself and then presented it to them. So that was that was really fun and it, it felt like I was definitely making an impact.